Hello world and welcome to the Scientist Raz channel and I'm Raz. What this video is about is a project that I've been working on for some time called a pick and place machine. A pick and place machine is used to place SMD components onto a printed circuit board. Printed circuit boards can be populated manually by hand, however Printed circuit boards can have dozens or hundreds of components, and placing dozens of components by hand is a time-consuming and error-prone process because a lot of the SMD components are quite small and look very similar. And also there's quite a bit of time that's involved in populating printed circuit boards, especially if you'd like to make more than one, then you face a non-trivial task. So what, what we'd like to do is to develop a machine that could accurately and quickly place these SMD devices onto a printed circuit board called a pick and place machine. Well, in order to do such a non-trivial task, the probably the best thing to do would be to design the machine first instead of assembling the machine by trial and error. So in this case, what I will use is a program called a CAD CAM program. And this CAD CAM program, HeXCAD, will allow us to visualize the placement of the mechanisms in the pick and place machine. And also it has the additional benefit of being able to output NC or numerical control files for use in a computer numerical controlled milling machine, otherwise known as a CNC machine. So what I'm saying is that we can design the parts in HeXCAD, we can output them to the CNC milling machine. The CNC milling machine will cut the parts out and we can then assemble the parts like a kit. So let's get started with HeXCAD. Okay, so here's HeXCAD and this is a model that I came up with that I thought would do the job of uh, being able to place components on printed circuit boards. And let's take a look at this model. This is similar to a, uh, a CNC router or CNC milling machine in that it has uh, three, three axes of travel. This is, has actually four axes. It has one axis of rotation. That's the way he's going to look, something like that. And then here's the uh, x-axis. This thing, this assembly here, moves back and forth on these rails. It's driven by these sprockets. There's going to be a drive belt across here. So this goes back and forth this way. This is the y-axis. This goes back and forth. Same thing on these rails. Like I said, this is an early model. This single bushing here did not work out. So we'll make changes changes to that. But this uh, x-axis, I'm sorry, y-axis goes back and forth. Here's the z-axis here. This goes up and down. And this also has an a-axis driven by this stepper motor here for component rotation. And this will turn around and there's going to be a pickup head here that will be able to pick the components up and change the rotation of the axis on it. So we'll just take a take a uh, another look at this. Belt goes through here, comes back around and is captured right here and that drives this crossbar assembly bearings right on these rails so they can go back and forth. <clears throat> okay, so that's what what the goal is. But how do we get from a blank screen to this? Looks like a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but it's not as hard as you may think it is. 
and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, now I don't think there's any way that I can show you how to uh, effectively work Heeksked in three minutes, but I'm going to give you a basic overview of Heeksked so we can uh, so you can follow along, and then we'll get to the really good stuff. Okay, what you have here, you have your standard file, save, blah 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 commands. Uh, this is uh, copy, cut, paste, or whatever. This is the uh, undo and redo commands. Uh, this this here is a selection. This is you'll be using this <coughs> this a lot. This is uh, for the CNC part of it, which we won't get into right now. Then these are views right here. This allows you to rotate an object, and this places the object at a uh, uh, directly in front of you. This is a screen view draw. These are some other uh, functions that you can do with it, like copy, paste, rotate, and so on and so forth. Then you, then these things here are the objects, and these are some operations you can do on on the objects here. So basically, it, in order to get started with Heeksked, you uh, it has basically the, only these objects here, but you can do a lot with them. Say, for example, we click this square, this cube rather, and it gives us a cube. And we can take a look at it. Like I said, this is to rotate, rotate around. And that certainly is a cube. Then you can also go over here and you can tell it what size that cube is by X, Y, and Z. So that's, we'll, let's make this 100. You have to hit this check mark. <coughs> and now you see that it's 10 by 100 millimeters. So that's basically all it is. Uh, all that is, and you can you can also do some other things. Uh, for example, let's make a uh, let's make a circle, a cylinder rather. There's our cylinder, and here's and then another thing you can do. Okay, click here to select. You can move it around, and click over here to rotate. Now, now we can do some operations on these two items. For example, I can click this here. I can control and click this. Yeah. So that, that's that selected that. We can do a control. We can select this, and then we can hit this. And now what it's done is just cut through that. Now we have to uh, pick the rotate mode, the view mode, and you can see here what that did. Now let's say we had some more cylinders. Select it, click on it, and uh, you can see it's 10 millimeters high. Let's make it 40 millimeters. Okay, so now it's 40 millimeters. We'll drive it. Let's drive it on through there. Let's put put this thing somewhere. Okay, it's not on the same plane. Don't worry about that. Okay, so now let's select this. Go into select mode, select this, control, select that, control, select that, control, select that. Let's cut those. And now we have a bar with a hole in it. So basically, you can pretty much make any shape that you want by. Uh, using just these uh, squares and then these uh, these uh, spheres, I'm sorry, these cubes, these spheres, these triangle things here. Of course, there's a lot more you can do. You can join them together and make one part out of them, and so unions and uh, whatever. You can fillet, and which is we don't really need to be doing any of that type of stuff for what we're going to be doing right now. Okay, so. We can look at this thing here. It says, "Okay, well, that's pretty nice, and you can make, you know, these things." But as far as like what you saw, like the motor or whatever, it looks like it'll take you a, a bunch of hours or whatever, a few days in order just to model one of the stepper motors that are in there. Okay, now that's where the beauty of heat scad comes in. <coughs> you can use real parts, and you can actually model real-world things 
in Heeksgad. So we're going to get to that next. Okay, you may remember that the pick and place machine model we had had uh, a, a linear bearing in it and a linear reel. So what we're going to do is take a look at the linear bearing and the linear reel. And here they are. And now what we need to do is model a, a linear bearing and a linear reel. So what we can do is go up here to our cylinder, put, put the cylinder there. And this linear reel we're using is 16 millimeters in diameter. So I can come down here, type in 16. That's 16 millimeters. And also we, we want it, uh, let's say, 200 millimeters long. So there we go. There's a linear reel. Also, it uses a linear bearing as well. That's 28 millimeters in diameter. So what we can do is get a cylinder, make another cylinder here, and make that 28 millimeters long uh, in diameter. And uh, it's, uh, I'm not quite sure how long it is, but let's just say it's uh, 50 millimeters long. So we have something like that. This is solid, so what we can do is I showed you before with the cut command, is we can select these things, select this item to be cut by this shaft here, I'm going to copy this shaft. You'll see why. And then you hit that. Okay, that cleared it. Okay. So I'm going to select this bearing here. Then here's a linear shaft. And I'm going to make a 16 millimeter hole through this. With this. And now we have a uh, 16 millimeter. 28 millimeter outside 16 millimeter bore shaft. I'm sorry, bearing. Let's put our shaft back in. Now we've got something that looks like this. Let's select it. So now you have a bearing and a shaft. But there's an easier way of doing that. And I'll show you that now. Okay, that was a lot of work making that linear bearing. But there's an easier way of doing things. Heaxcad is able to import 3D files. And fortunately, McMaster Car has a lot of 3D files. So we can go to the McMaster Car website, find our linear bearing. see and that's a uh, fixed alignment linear ball bearing that one there okay metric, metric ones closed bearing and then we want a 16 millimeter one here is here and then it has this thing here product detail it says CAD right here We go in there. Here's our, here's our linear bearing. Go down here. It says 3D step file. We'll save this. We'll save it as a bearing 16 millimeter. 16 millimeter linear bearing. I've already done this. And we'll save it. And then we can come and uh, we can go back to Heaxcad. Okay, we're back in Heaxcad. Now we can go and get our 
linear, linear bearing model. So we go file, import, and here's our linear bearing model right here. Let's select it. And what do you know? Here's a linear bearing. And a better one than the one we made. Okay, so now we can just start getting all of the parts we need uh, and loading, th loading them in. So here's a 16 millimeter shaft. Put that in here, that'll be useful. We can select it, copy it, paste it. Now we have two. Let's paste another one. As many as you need. Let's come back over here, get some more parts. It's a nice timing pulley. Get that. Now that we have gathered all the parts we wanted and put them where we wanted to put them at, and our model is nearly complete, we need to figure out how to get this model out of the computer and into the real world. And that will be the subject of the next session of this video series. Thanks for watching and have a great day. And don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel, Disco Reyes where I do some uh, video work and video production. Okay, we'll see you back later. Bye.